Good day everyone! Today, we will discuss the water cycle and its importance. We all know that water comes from many sources like ocean, seas, rivers, lakes, and among others. The sun plays a major role in the water cycle. The sun is the main source of heat on earth. When the earth's surface is heated, evaporation takes place in the bodies of water and on land. What is evaporation? Evaporation is a process by which water is changed to gas. Water particles are released from the leaves of plants through transpiration. Animals and humans give off water particles when they perspire and during respiration which evaporate in the atmosphere in lesser amounts. Paano nga ba nasisimula ang water cycle? Sa water cycle, Mahalaga ang araw. Alam naman natin ang araw ay ang pinaka pinagkukunan natin ng init, heat, and light. Ngayon, magkakaroon ng evaporation sa simula. So, ibig sabihin, water galing sa mga lakes, galing sa mga seas and oceans ay mag-evaporate. Meaning, yung water will be changed to gas. And that is what we call evaporation. Galing sa mga puno o mga halaman na tinatawag nating transpiration at sa mga tao kapag tayo ay nagpe-perspire at sa mga hayop ang tawag naman doon ay respiration. Now, after evaporation, what comes next? When water vapor in the atmosphere had cooled, condensation process takes place. So, magkakaroon na ng condensation. Saan nangyayari ang condensation? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng condensation? Condensation is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water. So, from water vapor, magiging liquid. At yun ay doon mangyayari sa clouds at nakakaroon na tayo ng clouds. The condensed water vapor is transported and moved from one location to another in the atmosphere. When the condensed water vapor becomes heavy, it falls back to the earth through precipitation. So from evaporation, magkakaroon na ng condensation at syempre bibigat ng bibigat yon yung water doon sa may clouds at magiging precipitation ano bang halimbawa ng precipitation so precipitation is a form of water through rain snow sleet hail that falls to the earth's surface When water falls back to the earth, it goes back to the bodies of water and it may end up on land. It may run over the soil and collect it in the oceans, lakes or rivers where the cycle starts all over again. Kaya nga tinatawag na yung water is renewable because of life cycle. Paulit-ulit. Water cycle is a continuous process of changing liquid water into water vapor or gas. 
when heated and back to liquid when cooled. Now let's test your knowledge. Number one, where does water come from as shown in the picture? Water comes from different sources like seas and oceans, rivers, lakes, groundwater, etc. Number two, what are the processes involved in the water cycle? The processes involved in the water cycle are evaporation, including respiration and transpiration, condensation, and precipitation. Number three, what is the role of the sun in the water cycle? The sun is what makes the water cycle work. The sun provides what almost everything on earth needs to go, energy or heat. Heat causes liquid and frozen water to evaporate into water vapor or gas, which rises high in the sky to form clouds. Clouds that move over the globe and drop rain and snow, or what we call precipitation. Number four, in which process do plants release water particles from their leaves? The correct answer is transpiration. And lastly, when does water vapor change to liquid? Oh, yeah,